Hey, what is up, guys? AJ here with Yoto Tech, reporting live from the Oppo F1s launch in Mumbai. The F1s is a spiritual successor to the F1 Plus, which was released just three months ago, with major emphasis on the front selfie camera. So the main USP of the F1s is also selfies, along with some slight enhancements and tweaks to the software. As an advanced version of the Selfie Expert F1, the F1s is taking selfies a step further with a 16 megapixel front camera, a sophisticated beautification feature, and a 0.22 second fingerprint reader. The F1s also sports a 5.5 inch 1080p display, a MediaTek MT6750 octa-core processor backed with 3 gigs of RAM, 32 GB of storage, and a 3,075 milliampere hour battery. Assuring a perfect selfie experience at an amazing price of seventeen thousand nine hundred and ninety rupees. We always say that megapixels don't matter, but I find it gimmicky that the front shooter is sixteen megapixels, while the primary shooter is thirteen megapixels. So obviously, the star of the show here are selfies. The camera comes with a one by three point one inch sensor, providing high dynamic range and minimizing noise, so that pictures come out with a vivid depth and detail. Now officially called Beautify 4.0, it comes with 7 Beautify levels, 2 skin tone modes, and upgraded photo processing algorithms. Beautify 4.0 is optimized to create capture selfies with bright clear skin, vivid eyes, and striking features. The front camera is also capable of taking panoramas. The camera has been heavily inspired from iOS, and that's not where the similarities end. The resemblances between ColorOS 3.0 based on Android 5.1 and iOS are strikingly similar. On the design segment, the device feels solid along with a metal body and a 2.5D curved Gorilla Glass 4 on the front. It does not have any new design aspects and looks very identical to a lot of shiny smartphones out there. Overall, it's a mediocre design. It's disheartening to see that it does not have a USB Type-C connector. Coming to the fingerprint scanner, it's made out of ceramic, so it won't scratch anytime soon. And it works well. You can also assign up to 5 fingerprints to different apps and contacts. It has a triple slot card tray which gives space to 2 nano 4G SIM cards and an SD card to expand the storage space by up to 128 GBs. More companies should do this instead of a hybrid setup. It has a 3075mAh non-replaceable battery. There was no mention of fast charging. The device will be available for purchase on Amazon and offline starting 11th August. Overall, we would recommend going for this device only if you are a selfie lover. Apart from this, there isn't anything exciting or groundbreaking about the F1s. So guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video and stay subscribed to Yoto Technologies. And for all other news, go to yoto.tech.